So, what if all of our machines suddenly broke down? Not just your TV set or your car, but everything. It wouldn't exactly kill us on the spot, but we can agree on one thing. It would be pretty apocalyptic. Weirdest of all, the machine apocalypse could happen for real. Surprise, surprise, suddenly you see a sharp blue flash shooting across the sky, and the next moment, everything is dead. Well, not everything. You are still alive and doing fine, and so are all the other people, as well as all animals and plants, but your machines, they're all dead. Dead as a doornail. If you're by car, train, subway, ship, or airplane, it grinds to a halt, which, of course, would be rather inconvenient if you happen to be sitting on that airplane. If you're listening to music, it all stops. If you're gaming, game over. Computer screens go black, lights out, factories stop, and eerie silence falls upon the civilized world. And it's permanent. Television sets that aren't even turned on will give off an eerie glow and then go dark forever. Computers will lose their data and get roasted from the inside. MP3 players and cell phones will heat up and then die. Telephone lines will melt, power stations give off a fountain of sparkles and then fall silent forever. And you don't want to be wearing a pacemaker. All of that stops too. Now isn't that lovely, there you are in your civilized world. Suddenly you're stumbling about in the dark. The only way to go someplace is on foot. Basic stuff like clocks, fridges, boilers, washing machines, and lights will never work again. Pretty soon your tap will stop delivering water, your money will run out, and shops will be empty. The economy grinds to a halt, throwing you back into the middle ages. And there's no way you're gonna dial 911 or email your congressman. Better use a homing pigeon from now on. What you've witnessed is what's known as an electromagnetic pulse, or an EMP. Perhaps some wicked genius detonated an EMP weapon high up in the atmosphere, or perhaps some star violently exploded nearby. Whatever the cause, the effect is the same. The atmosphere is flooded with exceptionally highly charged light particles known as photons. The photons smash into atoms that make up the atmosphere and knock out their electrons. That's the flash of light you see. Suddenly, a huge cloud of electrons come surging down, much like a ridiculously large bolt of lightning. The electrons demolish everything electric, everything with wiring in it turns into foul, reeking forage of molten plastic and short-circuited wires. Indeed, EMPs can be that nasty. The calculations show that a large enough EMP going off high in the atmosphere should be able to knock out every machine in Europe or the US. If a large stellar explosion flooded the atmosphere with a supercharged photons, it could get even worse. The dreaded machine killer may even affect half of the globe and all of mankind. It's difficult to tell what will happen next. With luck, some machines will survive. Devices running on batteries or machines that were turned off during the blast have a far better chance of survival. And of course, diesel engines and steam powered machines won't be affected. Although you may be unable to operate them without the electrical circuitry that's usually needed to run them. For transport, you may want to use a horse or a bicycle. And you may be relieved to find your hammer, screwdriver, and other basic working tools are still in tip-top condition. At least you can try to build up society again by hand. So in the end, we should survive, but not without a terrible crisis. Just read how one of our readers cozily puts it. We will have no food. We will have no clothing. We will have no access to information needed to make that food and clothing. The ending will be sudden and complete. If the air systems are needed, the deaths will come in minutes. If the water is needed, deaths will come in agonizing days. If the food is needed, death will pay a visit only after several excruciating weeks. People escaping the clutches of the machines will not be able to cope with the environment that doesn't pamper them anymore. They will die clutching the remotes that used to make the machines do what they wanted and needed. They will die hungry, thirsty, filthy, and cold. Bomb or bug? Well, we don't really know how big the danger is. We've only had electric wiring for a mere 150 years, a tiny fraction of the planet's history. No one knows how many times the Earth has been hit by an immense EMP from outer space already. And come to think of it, it gets worse. A large EMP isn't the only thing capable of shutting down our machines. Perhaps a simple technical failure can do the trick too. That's less silly than it sounds. We live in an ever more connected world with ever more connected machines. This makes us vulnerable to power failures, computer bugs, system malfunctions, stuff like that. 
Take the infamous Northeast Blackout of 2003. No less than 50 million people in the US and Canada found themselves without electricity. And the cause? For crying out loud, it was a humble tree that gently touched some power lines in Canada. Now that's encouraging. If something as simple as a tree can put 50 million people in the dark. Or consider the Millennium Bug. No one will ever know what would have happened if computer experts hadn't taken precautions, but the forecasts were bad on January 1st, 2000. Computer systems would go berserk, bank accounts would empty themselves, databases would be lost, power stations would fail, nuclear missiles would decide to launch themselves. Gladly, all of this didn't happen. But what if someone released a computer virus which, say, told their computers it was the year 3000? As our reader puts it, the automation is coming and coming fast. Home automation is here already and will improve by leaps and bounds quickly. Internet connected everything are being sold everywhere. We're even being taken baby steps into fully automated factories and fully automated transportation systems. You don't really want to know how planes are guided these days. And sometime within the next century, the turning point will come. We will be so dependent upon machines that the absence will kill us.